So I finally got my hands on the latest Lumix camera, the Lumix G7. And in this video, I'm gonna show you one of the new features in the Lumix range, the 4K photo functionality. And this is gonna be a tutorial on how to actually use this fu function on the G7. So let's have a closer look. Now, if you're not familiar with what 4K is, essentially it's a video format that provides four times the resolution of full high definition, giving you essentially a burst or a video with every frame is an eight megapixel still. So that's, uh, although it's a lot less resolution than what we're working with with normal stills, it's still enough resolution to give you like an A3 size print with uh, good detail. So this can be really useful for those moments where a normal burst rate is not enough to actually get the moment you want. Because this camera can record 4K at 30 frames per second, I essentially can use that to get these other moments that a normal camera, a normal stills camera, and normal burst modes wouldn't be able to get. So Panasonic have implemented three modes, and I'm gonna take you through those one by one. Now, if you're a stills photographer, what I can tell you about this 4K photo function is you do not have to shoot it like you're shooting video. In fact, you don't even have to use the video record button at all. What Panasonic have done on the G7 is they've put a 4K photo mode on this drive dial and once you put it into that mode, uh, 4K photo is active. So you use the, the shutter button to actually uh, start and stop. And depending on your 4K mode will determine uh, how this actually operates. So I'm gonna take you through these modes one by one now. Okay, so the first mode I'm gonna show you is 4K burst. Now how this works is pretty much like a conventional burst mode in that whenever I'm holding the shutter down, I'm bursting my shots. When I let go of the shutter, that's it, my burst sequence uh, finishes. So the beauty of this is while I'm holding it down, I'm getting 30 frames per second, but I'm getting that as a 4K photo, so each one of those is an eight megapixel high resolution still. The second mode, which I can show you, is called uh, 4K burst start stop. Now, instead of having to actually hold down the shutter for the whole duration of the time that you're trying to shoot, you simply press it once to start, press it once to stop, and after that, you can actually go through and select the frames that you want. Now, the third mode, and to me, the most exciting mode uh, that's been implemented on the G7 is 4K pre-burst mode. Now, how this works, is that essentially you have the camera capable of recording 30 frames per second. But what happens is you only press the shutter at the time that the moment you actually want to save happens. So uh, let's say you're taking a, a photos of your child blowing out the birthday candles on their birthday and you want to get the moment that they actually blow the candles out. If you press the shutter button at that moment, you know, the chances are pretty good you're gonna miss the shot. You're either gonna get it a little bit too late, you're gonna get it too early, you're not gonna get the actual candles blowing out. So the beauty of this is once you press that, the camera will actually give you one second's worth of shots, so 30 frames, before you press the shutter button, and one second after you press the shutter button as well, giving you a total of 60 frames to choose from and you didn't actually have to be ready and start recording, you only pressed it at that moment and you can go back in time. So the G7 actually has a buffer inside which can store this, this roll in one second. It doesn't chew up your memory card, it doesn't save everything to your memory card until you actually press the shutter button and then you get that one second before and that one second after. I thought this was so cool, so I've tried it out and uh, here's a few of the shots that I came up with just playing around. So basically what I've done is I've taken a photo of a candle as it's being blow blown out. I press the shutter button at the time and this is what I've caught. You can see just that little bit of uh, glow left on the wick, but otherwise, you know, it's not that interesting. But if I basically, with this 4K pre-burst, I can actually go back uh, either one second after I took the shot or I can go back one second before I took the shot. And you see here, I can find that moment that, you know, frame by frame, and find that actual moment where the, the flame's being blown away here. I can then choose to save that shot as an image. And I've got that 
uh, 8 megapixels still now saved on my uh, in my SD card and I can then zoom in show you there that the detail is really still quite nice and I can definitely go use that shot. So the, the applications for 4K pre-burst are huge. There's so many things that this could be used for. So I tried a couple out, uh, other type of things out for myself and I'll show you what I got. So you can see I've used 4K uh, burst here again. Now what actually I had is a, a balloon filled with water and the balloon was popped. But because I've got 30 frames per second, I can actually go frame by frame and get the decisive moment where there's no balloon left there's this water suspended in air and again I can just go and save that shot It's a high resolution still and I can print this up to A3 size and still get this really nice quality. So you can see how this 4K photo feature works. It's, uh, it's really cool, it's really easy to use in practice. You know, I don't have to load a video into my computer and go frame by frame on my computer and find the still. I, I can do all of that within the camera. And of course I've got something that I can actually print, that I can share and I can use. And something that, you know, you, you've only been able to get this type of speed previously in really expensive cameras. Certainly not something that's a, a consumer level interchangeable lens camera. So that's something that's really uh, quite special uh, with this camera. Of course there are a huge array of applications where you could, where you could use this feature. You know, I'm only playing around with them, a couple of them here, but you know, sky's the limit in terms of what you could actually do with this feature. In saying that, of course, you know, I don't think it's a feature for all situations. You know, you're still going to use the regular camera feature, get the full resolution and that type of thing, probably most of the time. But there's going to be those moments that come up, whether it's your child's sporting match or the birthday party, or you know, trying to do some macro things or wildlife applications where it's really hard to actually get that particular moment and you know, a, a, a normal burst speed of say less than 10 seconds, 10 frames per second is not really gonna get that moment that you actually want. So to be able to get 30 frames per second makes a, a massive difference as you've been able to see in this video. So I just think it's a really cool thing and something that a lot of people haven't spoken about yet about this, this product and uh, something that I think is really exciting and just opens up the doors to a different type of photography for a lot of people. Anyway, if you'd like any more information, please head on over to www.panasonic.com.au for more information. Panasonic.